welcome to one new episode of Barca on the road. Welcome to San Siro. Welcome to Giuseppe Meazza. I think we can get into the issue of the naming of this place in a few minutes because now I really want to kick off this episode. Welcome to Milano. Welcome to the next stadium that we are playing in. Welcome to Inter's home. first place that the players get to see when they get to a new stadium, in this case San Siro de Giuseppe Meazza, is going to be the garage, the parking lot, the place where the bus is going to leave them so they can walk to the players entrance for Champions League games. This is the exact spot where the bus is going to drop Barcelona players, it's gonna be right there and after that that's where we're going. Imagine having to rebrand your stadium every time that your team is going to play. Warming up for the match. And this is it, this is the way to the dressing rooms and obviously this is a stadium that doesn't have only two dressing rooms. It's got Inter's dressing room, Milan's locker room and the away team locker room. We're starting with this one, with the away team, with the one that Barca players are going to sit when they get here to San Siro Giuseppe Meazza. So it's looking really new because during the last international break it was renovated, so it's going to be super fresh for the game on Tuesday. Massage area. That was the away team's locker room and we don't usually show the local team locker room but we're going to do this time because in Giuseppe Mata stadiums there are not one but two local teams dressing rooms so first one that we're going to show you Inters already knew this but there are many players that have played for both Inter and Barca like Luis Suarez, the Spanish one, Ronaldo Nazario, Juarez, Matiago Mota, Samuel Eto, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, Alexis Sanchez, Maxwell, Coutinho, Rafinha, Jason Murillo and many more. We don't usually show the local locker rooms because we want you to see and get the experience that our players have. But we thought this would be interesting to see because it's a setting with two local locker rooms. Another time, we're going to the pitch. And that is the time. Look at that, it is really, really, really big. 80,000 people can fit in this stadium. So let's try and answer the big question here. Is it San Siro or is it 
Giuseppe Pimienza. Two World Cups have been played here in the stadium. For the first one, back in 1934, the stadium was called San Siro. But for the second one, in 1990, the FIFA did not have any doubt this stadium shall be called Giuseppe Meazza. This is something in which the UEFA and the Syria agree this stadium is called Giuseppe Meazza. But however, the social channels of the stadium, like the website or the Twitter and Facebook channels, they call it San Siro. So in the end, you gotta know what the fans call their stadium. And while Inter fans call it Giuseppe Meazza, it's the Rossonero supporters, the one that call it San Siro. And a stadium that two teams share, but a lot of things need sharing, like for example, the, the benches. So this is where our coach and staff and the players that won't be at the same level will sit for the game. But this is not always the away team's bench because this is also the Milan's bench. So basically to make it easy, on the other side that's always Inter's bench and this is always for Inter games, the place where the away team sit. And it's exactly the other way around for Milan's game. We're going to the away fans section so you are able to see the view that Barca fans that will travel here to Milan for the game will get of the match. First recommendation Barca fans, high carb diet because you will have to climb up the tower to get to the highest point of the stadium because that's where you will be sitting. Let's do this. This is from where Barca fans are going to enjoy the game and I only have one word to describe these views Breathtaking. It's absolutely vertical. The view of the pitch that you get from here is almost aerial and it is incredibly beautiful because you get to see the city at the end so Barca fans that will come here um, You won't have to worry about the view that you will get of the match because they are going to be stunning But however, you will need to be really careful with the stairs and the small alleys because it's just a bit dangerous I think <laughs> and this is everything from from San Siro I hope that you enjoyed the video and that you like the stadium if you want to see more Barca on the road if you are enjoying the show don't forget to give this video a like to subscribe to our YouTube channel over there and we'll see you soon with more stadiums bye